Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen back to the channel or to the channel um, Today we're going to do something something else with the C1 um, It's quite a popular modification this and um, what we're going to do is we're going to paint these We're going to paint that We're going to paint that We're going to paint that I mean that one's already broke but fuck it we're going to paint it anyway and this one I'm not going to bother taking these off um, I've, I've got something else planned for them um, So anyway I got myself Some Citroen blue Presidium blue I don't know if that's the colour of this car But you know what let's find out The perfect applicant for a test Now we'll give that a good shake And uh, Yeah it's coming out now Yes Yes Actually, it's a completely different colour, and it's not that bad. It's just lighter. But it's closer than silver, and it's closer than white. So, um, let's just, let's just crack on. Brand new. Right, so we're going to start by taking the trim off. Now, like I said, this one's already, already a bit broke. Try and get it off without breaking it more. It's got like two pegs, there we go. That's off. And that seems to be the reason why it's brought these. Yep, there we go. We'll glue that. These ones. Just pull out, same on the other side. I mean, this one that's not broken, you've got to sort of clip it off and then pull it out. Really should use a trim removal tool, but okay, I've got a screwdriver here. Pull it out that way. Make sure you pull it vertical towards yourself, otherwise you're probably gonna break it. There we go. Right, and as for this one, screw the turn steering wheel to the side. Use a Phillips screwdriver, but I've got a flat head. So I'm using a flat head. Yes. Hold on, focus the camera so you can see exactly how I'm struggling with the wrong screwdriver. Nope. I am right-handed, actually, which probably helped the situation. Should I go and get a Phillips screwdriver or should I carry on struggling? Okay, let's carry on struggling. Is this frustrating to watch? Probably frustrating to watch this, innit? Right, I'm gonna take the other screw out and then I'm gonna start filming again. And once you've removed the screws, you put them in a safe location. And then this, I believe, just pulls off. But, saying that, I probably should have done a test on this because I've not taken this off before that I can remember. I might have done. There we go whole thing comes out. There we go. And then, as you can see there, there is clips to remove. Right, so the easiest way to remove that clip is, as you can see, I've sort of uh, pre-positioned this screwdriver. And then you just twist it a little bit just enough so you're not damaging it and then twist that and then at the same time pull that out there we go and then do the same with the other clips i mean you probably should use a plastic tool for this but i'm not that fussy and then all the clips are released there we go i'm not paying that Another thing that might be of use is um, fuses are behind this cover as well. I mean, just just in case anyone was wondering that. Full start. Let's fix this. So get some super duper glue. We we'll just put a bit on whilst trying to uh, 
balance everything in my you know, one handed. I think that's uh, probably enough. And then, hold it in place till it sets. Magic. Right, so whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we'll do some sanding, which thousands grit, wet and dry. Your mum's best pan or your missus's best pan. Bit of washing up liquid. And then you, you just want to rub it down so it's all, all rubbed down. I mean, that sort of self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, you want to take the surface off the whole lot of it. Alright, so they're all sanded and nearly ready for paint. Um, what we're doing is, we're effectively just scotching it. I mean, some people put primer on and flat it and then lacquer it. I'm just putting a, well, an acrylic paint colour on it, just a, just a single jobby. Um, you want to take close attention to the edges when you're keying it, because that's where it's likely to lift first, if anywhere. We need to wash these off and then we'll uh, dry them and put some paint on. Yeah, I'm just actually just going to wash them off with a bit of water. Um, get all the residue off and then I'm going to make sure you pull the dry the toilet roll. So that's uh, not, not really a, a riveting thing to watch, so I won't bother sort of filming all that. Right, so as you can see, we've got them all lovingly laid out on a, a nice bit of brand new timber. Um, and we're going to spray them. I've put that one separately because um, cause my lad wants to have a do with it. So I'm going to let him have a practice on that one and see how that comes up. So, without further ado, the exciting bit. Got to give it a bit of a shake up, which we've already done. First, before you spray that, you want to test it to make sure it's coming out, which it is. So, we just do a light dust coat. Get the edges first. It's Go around the edges, light dust coat before anything. Like I say, you can primer this first, but I'm not going to that much effort. Some And then we let that go off. So let um let's let Dewey have a go on his tiny bits. No, too close, too close. Hold on. Right, go on. No, 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 no. No, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Right, look. Hold the can upright and spray it from the side. Right, go on, try again. No, no, the can's on its side. There. Hold the can upright and then spray it like that. Yes. It's looking like yours a bit. Um yeah. I think uh I think that's got enough paint on that one. It's got a bit too much. It's got a bit too much. Let's add it dry and see what it ought for best. Right, so we've given it a little bit of a coating. We've still got more coats to go on. As you can see it's a perfect finish, it's not orange peely at all. Um I mean the one doing it is absolutely spot on um i mean I've, I've i've not got the best track record at painting stuff which is why i called in for his expert assistance um but he is uh eight years old so he is you know never done this before and he's, he's picked it up like a natural um so let's wait for these to dry a little bit hopefully it'll smooth out a little bit and then we'll when it's tacky we'll give it another coat this is always fun um 
watching paint dry. It's a good hobby if anyone wants a new hobby. Just uh, just paint something and watch it dry and it's exhilarating. And we've added a bit more paint and without fail every time a fly cross lands into whatever you're painting if you're painting outside it's just right so i've just give it um a, a, a top coat and it's a bit orange peely i think that's just because well it's a bit cold to be painting to be honest with you we'll see how it dries and i don't think yes i don't think that's going to dry out that's uh that's reaction that um I mustn't have wiped that bit off properly um, when I've got um, fingerprints on it or something. But let do we um, let's let do we finish his. I'm gonna keep it upright. We've got the canonic side. Um, well, it's no worse than mine. Yes. Right. So now we need to leave them to dry. Um, and we need to, uh, well, when it's dry, I'm going to try and do something with that. But we need to leave them to dry where it's not going to rain. So where is a more waterproof place? The most weatherproof place that I could think of is in the back of a Citroen C1. Now for these, all I'm going to do is fill these in with a bit of paint. All right. And then, just, just wipe off the excess from the outside so it fills the gaps up. And then I'll do it with all of these and then I'll see what it looks like after. Right, so as you can see, I've just sort of filled it in and just uh, made nice little accents on the, uh, on the dials. Right, so now, all painted, paint's dry, and um, we can put most of it back together, but we can't put that back together because it's had some silicone or some shit on it, so I'm going to redo that bit, or I'm going to try and fix that bit, but we can put the other bits back in. Um, this is the one that Dewey painted. It's blue. The other ones that's still got a dead fly in it yes so let's uh throw these back in see how it looks right so to put this one back on there's a little pip there uh, there which goes in there so mm, look at that and same again yes now these I mean, it's actually a bit broken, but fuck it. They need putting into them and then just pushing straight in. And clip. Yes. Right, so we're getting there. But we've just got to try and sort that monstrosity out. Yeah. Probably should have just left it. So, if anyone's tried to ever sort of fix a fuck up, and then made it worse. That's what's about to happen. Made even better by the fact that there's uh, pretty much no paint left. So this is where we're up to. Um, sanded the reaction off a little bit, went to paint it over, and I don't know if anyone's had this before, but when you're using an aerosol and it's running out, it sort of blobs out and, and then that happens. Um, I mean, it's not dry yet. It might look a bit better when it's dry, but I'm just going to put it on anyway. So this just pushes back on here, and I've got to try and push it back on without really touching it because it's still wet. Um, but it, yeah, you just clip it back in which I'm going to do now. Yeah, so I stuck a screwdriver in there and pulled it through rather than pushing it in. And I also painted my hand, which is a good look. Getting on to being like Avatar or something. And this just sort of pushes back down into place. Yeah. And 
and let's put the screws back in. So as you've seen, all I've done is, well, I've just I've just scotched them up and painted them with some acrylic paint, and it doesn't look too bad. It's a bit orange peely. Uh, well, it's, it's quite a bit orange peely, but it's an interior trimming. It's not that important. That one, the one that Dewey did, doesn't look too bad. Um, that one again. These are all much of a muchness, but obviously, the one that you're looking at all the time is is is, is shit. Um, if all that bothered, I'd do it again. I'm I'm not really. Uh, this side looks okay. So if I sit sort of like with my head over here, then I won't notice it. But it is sort of the bit that you notice when you open the door. The bit that's right in front of you is the bad bit. It actually looks worse on the camera than it does in real life, to be honest with you. It doesn't look that bad. I'm looking at it through the phone screen and it looks really bad. It, it's not great, but it isn't actually anywhere near that bad. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Colour-coded uh, interior trim panels.